Thank you. Thank you. You're so kind. One of the things I like about this show is, is our desire and our love and our passion to celebrate our own, man. We celebrate Ghanaian ingenuity, man. And that's, if there's one thing about this show that I love, that's it, you know. Because Ghanaians, we don't celebrate our own. We, 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 Yetihana, Yakra Kobi from China, Nedabetu Makola. For those of you who don't speak Chi, I was saying that don't be surprised if one day you go to Makola and you see that the Kobi that we are selling is coming from China. We don't celebrate our own. Today, I'm celebrating two Ghanaians, man. These are Ghanaians from the creative artist segment. And they're doing amazing. This has been celebrated on BBC. They've been celebrated uh, uh, on CNN. They've been worldwide acclaim for the amazing things that they do. They went to uh, uh, Burkina Faso recently and swept the awards there from their creativity. We don't give them the same value in our own country. But here we do. I'm going to introduce them. The first I'll introduce is the lady. Put your hands together. Turn on one for Matilda. Hey! hey! There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Matilda, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm going to introduce the, the partner in the business. And put your hands together. Show some love for Eric Opoku. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Well, welcome to the show. I'm honored to have you here. And, and Ghanaians will understand why I'm honored to have you here very soon. <laughs> but stick around. We're going to pause for the course. When we come back, let us meet these two creative brains. We'll be right back. Stay cognizant for a recrudescence of gratuitous conviviality and merriment. <laughs> Matilda and Eric, for the last time you were on this show, uh, we, 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 were, we were fascinated with the kinds of things that you do. It's Matilda Hotkutu. Yes. So that's right? Yes. And, uh, and then Extreme Deco. Yes. My, my Extreme Deco. Oh, my Extreme Deco. Yes. Okay. Um, before we talk to them, just, just let's take a quick second to look at some of the things they do. First of all, we'll start with uh, Matilda Hutkutu. Take a look at some. from amazing you you were in um the Burkina Faso yes was it yes Burkina Faso yes okay. last year, no, last year. Yes. okay yes. tell me about the, the reception and and the kinds of ha ah, overwhelming um by the way this was a fair this is an international yes, this, fair this is an inter one of the biggest art exhibitions in Africa it's called Siao yeah. Art, art exhibitions. Yes, okay. art exhibitions. So that's where all the artisans around Africa come to exhibit and show the world what we have to offer. Because it, it brings in bias from all over the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so all we the artisans there. from yeah. across the whole from, continent. Yeah, yeah. So there were over 2,000 artisans. And um, we, we were taken by um, Ghana Exports Promotion Authority. Yeah. Um, Mrs. Froko. Yeah, that's the lady that picked us, and then she, she took us there. It was amazing. <laughs> it was amazing. In the beginning, when we arranged our things, you know, people raised a lot of eyebrows. Yeah, I mean, eyebrows that were very negative. 
Really? <laughs> yes, very negative. I mean, we are used to it because, you know, we've been going through that phase, you know, from time to time. So we knew what we had to offer to the world. So we're not deterred. And then after the opening ceremony, magic happened. Wow. <laughs> what, what is it with negative? What, 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 um, what, what is it like that? Like, you, know, right? you know, we pick anything we find and we make good use of it. So we turn trash into treasures. So um, we used, um, used car ties, mm -hmm. driftwood, anything we found, we made it. So we made chairs, jewelry, and anything that was useful in the home. And people did not understand where mm. we were coming from. Mm. So some would even laugh. Really? And you could tell they're giggling and, yeah. you know, they're, they're passing, yeah, and passing all sorts of comments. But after the opening ceremony, when the dignitaries started walking in, <laughs> That's when we knew we were doing something. <laughs> That's when everything turned around because everybody was amazed. The response was something else. Fantastic. Yeah, it was something they had never seen. And they could not believe the two of us <laughs> who were the worst. That Behind this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was amazing. It was wow. amazing. Wow. It was amazing. And what was your reaction when you saw all these dignitaries trooping in to the stand? I give thanks to God, yeah. because without him, nothing is possible. It was one man who made a difference, uh, Simo Kampuari. I heard they said uh, he's one of the most uh, important people in Burkina Faso. So he came to sit on our chair, and magic happened. The next so morning... He came to your stand, yes. and then he, he yes. sat on the yeah. chair? Every, every morning, one minister comes around. Every day, somebody comes around. With the TV, with the news people, they come to tour the whole area to give publicity to the program. So when he came, he sat on a chair, and the next morning, <laughs> they started reading their evening news yeah, on in our stand. stand. Yeah, in our they stand. did the evening news in yes. your stand? What, yes. what happened was, um, we had different sets. Yeah. We had our stand, and mm. then we also provided furniture for the Ghana stand. Mm, mm. So that was a set on okay, its own. Okay. So they started reading their news every night. From, from the set? <laughs> from the set. Every evening, you know, they would come and then read their news. So it was on TV every evening. Wow. Yeah. And we couldn't understand a word of French. <laughs> but, you know, and then they had a newspaper that ran every day. And just for the program. Just for the program. Yeah. And international media, BBC, name it. They were all there. So they were coming in every day. And then they had a creative room where they pick what they term most creative. Mm. And then they put it in the room for people to come around and see. And then they judge and they give awards. So it's, it's, it's a whole competition on this own. It's a big deal. Big deal. 2,000 yeah. yeah, over 2,000. Over 2,000 2, 2, from 000. all of Africa. Yes. And uh, yes. some came from uh, Europe. Some, some also came from Europe. Okay. But yeah, okay. Africans who are based in Europe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they mm -hmm. came to uh, exhibit their products. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's, it's a big festival that is well known out there. Because if you see the sort of buyers that come around... <laughs> They ain't joking. So it's a huge yeah. international yeah, festival. It's, it's huge. It's huge. And so um, in the creative room, we had seven of our items <laughs> in there. <laughs> we were the only ones that had a lot of things in to there. Exhibit. Yeah, to exhibit. To, for the as part of the competition. Mm -hmm. For the competition. Mm -hmm. You know, people had one, one item. We had seven. <laughs> <laughs> you don't play. No, no, no. No, <laughs> no we, we, you know, we prepared for that particular art exhibition. We, I was there in 2012, and then I came back and I told him what I saw. And I told him that we could win. Because wow. at that time, the lady that won, she had, she had produced a plate with clay. Mm. And it was so fascinating, but I thought we could do something better. Yes. So I told him, look, we we've got to this. turn things around, you know. Let's take a different channel. We're still doing our jewelry, and we still have the deco, but we must have purpose for whatever we're doing. Mm. It's not just about you know the beads and 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 the deco. We should have a purpose. We should have a social responsibility. We should be social entrepreneurs as well as you know having a corporate responsibility, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then we should do something for the world. So let's take this channel 
of turning trash to treasures. Wow. And we must come up with something and we must win an award. So 2014, it didn't come on because of the Ebola. Okay. And then okay. they also had political unrest. Mm -hmm. And so for the 2016, we said we were going and we we're not coming back empty hand. And we came back with two awards. Show some love. <laughs> Show some love. <laughs> awards. <laughs> but we won the most creative award wow. out of over 2,000. Out two of the over 2,000, yes. you yes. won the most creative. Yes. Put your hands together. Man. This Wow. Yeah. I mean, it's in French. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but it's, it's that word. Fantastic. So, did you, how did it feel, man? Winning the um, most creative I'll, I'll out of... I'll tell you something funny that happened. <laughs> we are the second uh, Ghanaian to, to win. win. The first it's, it's one was on, in uh, 1994. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Yes. Mr. Lovi. We're in the same association. Okay. So he yeah. won the first one, and we are the second Ghanaians to have won that award. Awesome. And it's been going on for 14 years. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. It happens every two it years. It happens every two years, but it's, it, it's, it's happened 14 times. Mm. So 14 times. Yes, yes. yes. And, and the second time you brought yes. home the gold. Yes, we brought it home. <laughs> and, and they were amazed. They were amazed. They were amazed. They were amazed. So, so you know, <laughs> having, having experienced this, and having been exposed to the kinds of um, priority they give to their creative arts, how 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 do you how do you feel our our <laughs> our attitude? To, <laughs> you're laughing already. <laughs> Daniel, we are joking. Yeah. Seriously. You see, when you, in Ghana, when we talk about creative arts, it has to do with music and movies. That's it. That is what That's we all know. Creative arts. Yes. Yeah. But without us, we the artisans, they don't exist. Mr. K, you will not exist on your show if you didn't have artisans. Set. Your set. <laughs> you see, you can't sit naked. <laughs> we will do your shirt for you. My set, my costume, yes. everything. Yeah. 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 But the people they give priority to, they don't even promote what is made in Ghana. How many movies have you watched that they use our local names? You know, you watch a Ghanaian movie, it's, it's like you're watching another soap opera for Mexico with the names they use. Cinderella. You see, <laughs> no Mexican will use a Kwesi or Kwame in their thing. We can't blink more than them. We can't do the blink, blink more than them. But we can show them what we they have, have never seen before. We have a lot to show to the world. There's so much. But <laughs> we don't do that. And, and, and they celebrate their own there. They yes. do. It's, it's, they it's a big deal. Mm. It's a big deal because on their awards night, it was it telecast was live. Live. Yeah. On their national television, and which runs in all the African countries. Countries, because it's on satellites. Yeah. Wow. Yes. And you should have seen their dressing. Traditional. You see I a mean, man in a, in a suit and tie. But, but it's you know it's made in from Burkina Faso oh. with their fabric. Yeah, fabric. I see. Yes. yes. I see. Right. So even though it's like a Western chair, yes, it's still, yeah, but it's still yeah. you know, you the know where it's coming from. Uh, uh, cloth, like our kinti, mm -hmm. but theirs is different from ours. They use that to sew their suit and tie. But Everything. what happens to us? Everything. You see, they say mid, uh, Friday wear. It has to be maybe three times in a week, yeah. or even the whole week. week. Yeah. If it happens like that, uh, uh, our textile industry is going to grow up. The tailors and the seamstress, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. they are going to get the designers. Designers, yeah. yes. Yeah. Can you imagine yeah. uh, a wax print shoe from yeah. China? It's in now. What happens to the people in Kumasi, the people in Kantamanto, who are doing uh, mm -hmm. local wax shoes? Wax shoes. Yes. yes. From China. From China. I mean. from China. <laughs> well, sure. so I, I told you. <laughs> 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 it's, it's to, sad. Yeah, something has to give. It's, it's gotten to the point where we have to be proud of what we have. Something has to give. Something has to give. Because I tell you what, um, um, UNDP had a price for environmental protection. And they were expecting to see something else. And we took that award because we were producing things ordinarily people would just, you know, mm -hmm. ignore, mm -hmm. you know, making ch chairs out of car ties, yeah. really, and jewelry 
out of tight tubes, really. And they were amazed. They were and amazed. And I like the way you put it, you know, you turn trash into treasures. Yes, we turn trash into treasures. I mean, that's our theme. I mean, um, if you say, if people, people call us the rubbish collectors, and we're okay with it. <laughs> we're okay with it. Yeah, we're okay yeah. with it. But because we turn your rubbish into treasures. Exactly, because it's, it's not just about existing in this world. You must leave something behind. And you must remember, when you go, others will come after you. So what are you leaving behind for them? If we're burning all those ties, if you go to Agubishi, it's, it's a sight. It's a terrible sight. For those tiny wires in the tires, they would burn and the fumes is something else. And we don't realize that that's what has changed our weather pattern. Mm -hmm. And it's causing so much illness, but we do not know. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we always say that we want them to bring their tires to us, pay for it, and we'll produce chairs and you keep them in your garden so that we can save our environment. Beautiful, man. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> we create employment. A group? Yes. Yes, we would save ourselves. From what yeah. is regarded exactly, as trash. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And we would can build actually... build the whole economy exactly, out of trash. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Great. Now, we have just a few more seconds to go, but uh, of course, I have to angle it a little bit because I remember the first time you guys came and you were working so well together. And <laughs> I asked, okay, you guys are great. You are lovely partners. Um, is, uh, is this just strictly professional or are there are some romantic elements going on? And you both said, no, 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 no. It's strictly professional. Eh? It's strictly uh, professional. Strictly professional. <laughs> But I hear that there has been some transition. <laughs> change has come. <laughs> uh, we haven't seen that change yet. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> we are yet I hear that some change has come. It is still very, very professional, but you decided to add a romantic angle to it. Eh? Who said so? It's all about power. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> so, folks, uh, it shows a lot for that. For the most creative couple in town. <laughs> but that's great. That's great, though. You know. And uh, how does it feel to be working together, not just as professional partners, but romantic partners as well? <laughs> Who said so? No. <laughs> Who said so? You're still denying. Yes, I haven't said anything yet. <laughs> um. As partners, it feels yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> You're always partners, but yes, with a romantic good. element. <laughs> that can, you know, put that one aside. Yeah. Put that one aside. We're <laughs> still on the partner. The, <laughs> show us a lot one more time. <laughs> and, and, and really, congratulations for, for, for the great work, your contribution to, to creativity, turning trash into treasure, yes. yeah. you know, winning all the awards and... Um, getting that recognition and hopefully why are you located in Ghana in case people have seen this who have not heard about you yet who want to come to your shop and we're inside the trade fair center okay um we are right in front of pavilion d okay um our roof has the structure coming to the ground and then we have used ties on our fence okay so you will miss it okay yeah is there a phone yeah. number yes yes zero two four four two three four eight two six and then zero two four four one two eight two one one <laughs> and the numbers are on the screen right now please just go and check it out let's support our local creative talent and especially those who have been known worldwide going international but we in ghana don't know or appreciate let's start appreciating our own okay so before you go your final words um we, we would like to um say that we are open for investors mm -hmm. because we would like to expand and um, employ more people mm -hmm. and also um, make an impact in the world. So we're open for grants, investors, whoever wants to support. Fantastic. Yeah, we, 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 we game. We game. Yeah. Okay. Game. Now, here you have a team now? You've oh, yes. We, oh, yes. We have a huge team headed by Mr. Daniel Uredu. Fantastic. Yeah. He, he's. Uh, he's uh, Resources. Yeah. Okay. And, and um, honorable titles, Glover. 
Okay. Yeah. Great. He Great. he's been fantastic. He's been fantastic. And um, we have a team that we've named a team no excuse. Team no excuse. <laughs> yeah, like no that. excuse to Let's fail. just deliver. Man. Yes, yeah, Some let's excuses. just deliver. Okay. Yeah, and that's um, that comprises of Fulera Seidu, um, Godwin Frimpon, George Niai, Ai, um, Asabia. I, I hope I haven't left anybody uh, out. Our pastors. Who <laughs> and, yeah, and, us and, and our press, pastors. Uh, yeah, yeah. Pastor yeah. Jake and uh, Pastor Gabriel. And, and Reverend Okai. Okay. Yes. And our family. And, and the family. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's show them all some love, man. <laughs> Thank you so much. Let's see, come on, folks. We'll be right back. If you reach for that remote, I will bite you. The KSM Show will be right back.